I am Dave Brubo. And I'm Matamoto, and this is a video on how to drive a manual car. Yes, uh, driving a manual car, or standard uh, to you North Americans, is in fact a dying art. Yeah, I mean, nowadays you have to learn from your family, you have to learn from your friends, or you have to learn from basically anybody who's willing to risk you ruining their clutch. Ah, but of course, not any driving school in Ontario, because, um, you know, driving schools don't actually have it in their curriculum. No. I used to work for one, and... Uh, they don't teach it. Yeah, so we thought that we would help while being Brumo thought that being Brumo would help. And uh, yeah, here's how to drive a manual car. Alright, the best place to start is on a flat surface, just like this uh, racetrack right here, actually in pit lane at the moment. Of course, unlike your automatic, this car has three pedals. So this one right here is the throttle pedal. This one right here is the brake, we are familiar with those. And this one here is the clutch pedal. That's a footrest. In case you're wondering, the clutch feeds the power from the engine to the wheel. In your automatic, this is done automatically. To start the car, we put the clutch in all the way and turn the key. But if the clutch isn't in, then nothing happens. With the clutch fully down, turning the car on, and then bringing the gear stick over into first gear, you are now ready to pull away. With the engine running, in order to find the clutch grab point, what you're going to do is you're going to start feeding your left foot off of the clutch pedal. Right there, it's going to move forward. Driving a manual car is really all about that clutch friction point. The point where the clutch actually makes contact with the engine and starts to move. Oh, great job, you found it. Of course, this doesn't always go according to plan. Sometimes, what ends up happening is you do that. To fix this, simply add more gas and off you go. Of course, once you get going, the rest is easy. All you do is you're in second right now, for example. I'm going to accelerate. I'm going to come off the gas and the clutch is going to go down at the same time. My hand's going to move into third gear and then gas is coming on and clutch is coming off. Just like a scissor action. these are the basics and once you get used to it it becomes pretty much second nature i don't really think about it my hand just does what it does my foot just does what it does so once you get the hang of it just learning once you'll be able to do it probably for the rest of your life but if you're a bit like me and uh this is a little bit boring on a road then um then maybe racing is more my thing He must mean business. 